Hey guys. I come down here, gonna walk around a little bit down here at uh, Old Baptist Cemetery. I've done a lot of sessions in this old cemetery. Sorry for the bouncing, I'm just filming with the phone, guys. Army helicopter. Yeah, there's a few neat things that's happened here. Uh, I enjoyed pretty well. Uh, Silas Dudley here and his daughter Hannah, uh, they talked quite a bit. And uh, right here, at Sally and M.D. Brazelton <clears throat> come down here one day and heard Tombstone fell over on the ground and his did too and I picked his up but hers was laying flat down on the ground so I, I just couldn't pick it up by myself uh, and I asked him I turned the box on and I asked him I said, what happened and heard someone say the wind did it no see the wind didn't do that so anyway I come back down here about a week later and it was back up so it's pretty doggone neat. Um, and there's a little girl here, Eliza. And I was walking through here one time. It was when I first very started coming here. And I got all right along in here. And uh, this J.J. St. Clair out right here makes this tree. Uh, I was asking, I said, can you hear me and everything? And he said, yeah. And I heard a little girl already say something, but it didn't come through the spirit box. And uh, as I was talking to J.J., uh, he said, they called me Weasel. I said, oh, really? And about that time, you could hear a little girl laugh, and it didn't come through the spirit box. So it was it was very very neat. So every once in a while you'll you'll catch her little mist around and her little voice. So it's it's pretty neat down here. They've never let me down, which I mean I'm not running a box today, but we had to come to town. Thought I would film. Some of these just have daggum little stones in the ground um right in here is a lot of children and i'm pretty sure eliza's one of them here um only reason i know her name was because she told it um another thing to happen uh i was parked down there close to raymond's dad one time and it was about 10 30 11 o'clock at night and it was me raymond and my sister i walked this way and raymond walked that way and it started to kind of mist rain a little bit so i started back and when i turned around shannon was there next to me and i'm like okay she didn't want to sit in the car so we got about middle ways here and i seen raymond coming and with his flashlight and he got about as far as from me from here at that tree right there and i said hey i said let's go on to the car man it's starting to rain so we turned around and went back on down to the car got down to the car raymond was already sitting in the car so 
the light vanished and whoever it was walking vanished. That big tree right there. Uh, my daughter snapped a photo one time about dusk and dark here and caught a image of a soldier. He had the short bib cap on. You can see the military design on his sleeve. He was just leaned up against the tree. So it's usually very, very active. Um, if I'd have known I'd been coming on down this way, say, I would have brought the box with me, but I didn't. Uh, and two, the reason I didn't get to go live at two o'clock is uh, every year, I have a uh, uh, in-home nurse that comes out, you know, to do your vitals and all that kind of rigmarole. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she come out about 20 to 2 and didn't leave until about 2.30. So sorry about that. But we're down here now getting going to get milk and all that stuff so you guys can watch me make that gravy. <laughs> Raymond's dad's right, right down there. And then I've got some kinfolk over here. <coughs> Charles and Lathia and Gordon. These here are some children. And this one right here. Um, they poured sand in there now. Um, little girl, I had her to count one day, and I told her if she would do it, I'd bring a doll down here. So I come back the next day, and I had her to count to ten. And I brought her a doll, went to Walmart and got her one. And I could put something like a comb or something other on that doll. And every time I'd come down here, it would be move different pretty neat Charlie Gordon Lathia these here are my kinfolk she was born in 1895 Passed in 1923. Gordon, the son, 1921 to Love you guys. But yeah, we had a few minutes to kill, so thought I would swing by here, swim a little bit, tell some of the things that I've experienced down here.
that there is Raymond's grandma and grandpa, taught in Geneva. They always speak when I turn the box on as well. Well, that's a, I don't know if the camera is doing any justice, but that's a bright orange. Pretty comfortable out today too, guys. It's like 81. They're scattered all out through here. Wouldn't surprise me if there's also not a mass grave here. Um, this cemetery dates back 1816, I do believe. <clears throat> Um, yeah. Something been digging in this one. There you go. There's a lady over here that was accused of witchcraft. There used to be an old church set out right out here. Burned down three times. They say she was her and her partner at the time were the cause of it. You'll see the design on her tombstone here. Uh, this near got a little dinosaur on it. It's just hardly a year old. Juanita. I did a session here on her one time. Pretty dang uh, weird and sickening at the same time. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, guys, I wanted to get out the house for a little bit. I'm tired of being piled up in that dead gum house. So, anyway, here is an overview look of Old Baptist Cemetery. Um, hope you enjoy some of the stories I've shown. Um, 
a lot of that I may have up on video. So, <clears throat> you know, go back and check out my graveyard videos and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Love every one of you.